Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial where we'll learn about number format. We'll see what are the different things that you can do with the number format and how it's affected by locales and at the end we can see how you would also format currencies using number format class. Let's start off. Uh, the first uh, example that we would be looking at is how like a number format is used to really format numbers. So what I'm doing here is using the number format. There's a static method called get instance. So it's like I'm not really creating an instance of this class. So it's basically number format dot get instance. So it's a static factory method and you'd look at it and uh, then we would call the method format and to which I'm passing in a value 321.24 F to indicate that it's a floating point number. So let's see what's the output when I run this program. So you'd see 321.24 in the output. So the first question which comes up is what is the default locale? So uh, the when you, you call the number format dot get instance, it actually uses the default locale. So the first question might be what's what is this default locale? So let's see what the default locale is here. The way you can print it is by using locale dot get default. So let's try and print this out to the console and see what happens. Okay, there you go. See uh, the default locale which is being used is English and US. So it's uh, so the output is coming in the format of a U US number. So this is how we represent 321.24 in US. So let's say I want to find out uh, how uh, this is how we format something using a default locale. Let's uh, take a scenario where I would want uh, not to use the default locale, but I would want to use a specific locale from some other country. So let's say I want to use a locale from Netherlands. Then I can use the locale from Netherlands. This is how you can define. So you can say new locale and the code for Netherlands is NL. So what I'm saying is to the get instance method, I'm passing in a parameter uh, which is called new locale of NL. We would say new locale of NL. That's uh, the NL which the string NL which we are passing to it is an indication that it's an NL local. So let's see what's the output when I run this program. You'd see 321.24. I'm still printing the local dot get default. I'll remove that and let's execute it again. So you'd see 321 comma 24. The reason why you see a comma instead of a dot is because in Netherlands a comma is used as a dot. So this this representation in Netherlands is 321.24. So this is how uh, this is the uh, like uh, best thing about locales is you don't need to really worry about uh, which country you are formatting it to. So you specify the locale. You don't need to understand uh, underst uh, like you don't need to worry about the formatting in a particular country. So it would take care of that. So also, there are certain predefined locales. So, for example, if I want to use locale from Germany, so I can say locale dot Germany and run it. Now you would see the locale Germany used. Uh, German in Germany, it's the same notation as it is in Netherlands. So you'd see three twenty one point twenty four. So this is how you do formatting of numbers. Let's say I want to format in terms of currencies so and I want to use the default locale so I don't need to pass anything but the method which does formatting in currencies is get currency instance so if I want to format currency then I would do number format dot get currency instance and then I would want to format 321.24 so now let's run this and see what happens so you'd see <coughs> as we see earlier as we talked earlier uh, the default format uh, default locale was us and us the currency is dollar so you'd see that it's dollar 321.24 so this is how you'd represent it in dollars so the currency instance is used to get the 
currency let's say i want to get how it's represented in a particular country let's say i would want to say locale dot china i don't really know how it's represented but let's just check so yeah probably this character is not available here that's the reason why you see a question mark but it would convert to the locale china if i want any other locale locale for example india or there's no india there surprisingly or i can probably convert to any of the locales which are present in here so yeah these are this is how you use uh, uh, the number format class to format currency values there is one last thing we'll look at uh, with number format it's uh, the number of uh fraction digits that i used so if you look at here uh, in this particular thing i'm printing in the i'm just getting the number format dot get instance and i'm printing the get maximum fraction digits so if i run this program you'd see that it prints as a value oops let's me save it and run it so you'd see that the output is 3 uh, so that's the default number of uh, fraction digits that are shown irrespective of the number that you would format so if i say this out number format dot format and pass in a float value 12 dot 1 2 3 4 f then you would see it in action so you would see that it's printing only the first uh, three digits after the decimal so that's the default uh, let's say in this particular uh, example i would want to print the, all the four characters then i can use number format dot the method is set and i can pass in the parameter oops and say i want four digits as the thing and if you see it now then you would see that the entire number along with the four decimals is printed in so this is how you can set how many fractions of a number i mean how many uh, digits after a decimal point needs uh, to be printed so that's all there is about a number format we looked at how you can use number format to format numbers how you can set how many decimal points to show and also to format currencies if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye